Okay, the reason I wanted to go ahead and do the uh, radio setup before I went any further is that uh, I really need to test the motors for rotation before I finish, uh, finish tidying up the wiring. What I did is I took uh, all three speed controllers are plugged into these two wires which are running to a battery and I've also got let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit I've got my uh, receiver all bound up and the receiver is plugged into an a, uh, external receiver pack so what you need to do is you need to initialize the receiver first with everything plugged in um, with the uh, the three ESCs plug directly into the channels that they're going to go to on the receiver. So plug all your ESCs into the receiver, then plug the battery into the receiver. And after that's done, you can go ahead and plug in the uh, you can go ahead and plug in the battery. Um, basically, you have to initialize the receiver before you initialize the ESCs. You could probably skip that at this point, but uh, it's just a good habit to get into for later on. Um, when you fly these tricopters, one thing you have to do is you have to initialize the you have to initialize the gyros before you can initialize the uh, speed controllers. So your gyros are going to be plugged into your receiver. Your receiver is going to plug into either a battery eliminator circuit or a uh, external battery, and then. Um, once your receiver is on and once your gyros have all initialized then you can go ahead and plug in the main flight pack um, <clears throat> as far as testing rotation uh, what I did is I put a little uh, uh, basically all the motors are supposed to rotate counterclockwise but what I did is I put a prop on and just kind of loosely on a little prop nut and I just push it down on there a little bit oops let's try that one more time just a little bit looser there we go and now when you spin it up you should see the prop rotating in the proper direction and you want to do that on all three motors to make sure they're rotating in the proper direction and once all three motors are rotating in the proper direction, you can uh, tidy up the, uh, the connections. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put heat shrink over the entire bullet connector and wiring. Uh, that's to keep the, uh, the bullet connectors. There's, for some reason with these bullet connectors, there's still a little bit of, a little bit of uh, the conductor showing. Um, even though I thought I did a pretty good job of getting the heat shrink on there. So I'm going to pull these apart one at a time and put a piece of heat shrink over the entire length and then shrink them down and then I'm going to finish tie wrapping everything up to the boom. But uh, anyway that's why we went ahead and did the radio setup so that we could test the uh, so that we could test the motors for proper spin. Thanks.